we're going to be hitting the gas and blowing some flames. Dude, that is so cool. Got my fire suit on. Let's hit it. I tighten that bolt. Whoa. That wasn't supposed to happen. Today on Cars and Cameras, we're installing a redneck afterburner on our 550 Cozy Coupe. It's actually a flamethrower system of my own design uh, that goes in the exhaust. We should be able to get flames at idle or revving up. It's going to be pretty cool. You got to be careful though, I've caught things on fire with my hearse. So this is what we got right here. I don't know exactly how we're going to be wiring this thing up, but I brought out all kinds of goodies that we can use. Uh, for this installation, we have a electronic ignition unit. We have some uh, Jaguar slash Ford coils. This will work pretty good. We got some plug wires. We're going to need those. And we have some spark plugs around here somewhere. And uh, some wiring and some lights and buttons and stuff for resistors and, and, and all that stuff. Hey, well, thanks, We got buddy. spark plugs. We got spark plugs. Some brand <laughs> new NGKs. No, these are used. Oh. But that's okay they're still gonna work. I think the uh, installation is gonna be pretty straightforward. I just jinxed myself, didn't I? So we heard you liked ignition systems. So we put an ignition system on your ignition system. So this is what we got. We have our factory point style ignition right there. We have no problems. Calm down, Charles. <laughs> we have no problems with this ignition system, but we want our uh, completely separate ignition system for the uh, spark plugs and the exhaust so we're going to be installing a separate ignition a se system electronic ignition on top of our points ignition and that's what's going to cause the spark in our exhaust for the flames that's right and i'm going to be working on the tv and the headrest so we are already running into a problem we've got this hex bolt here and as for our reference for our signal which means when this engine is turning a thousand revolutions per minute this thing's going to be getting a signal of six thousand revolutions per minute because it's a six-sided nut yeah uh which is not good because that'll be like we're gonna be cooking some stuff yeah that's that's what we were thinking our signal was gonna uh be uh reference signal would be uh we need to cut that into one fifth i've got a washer installed on the the crankshaft Oop. that's going to be my reference signal and i'm going to glue hot glue this right here and it's going to be picking up on that piece of metal right there every revolution so we'll let that set up a little bit Hopefully it's... I hope I got it close enough. Yeah. I think I would have liked it to have been a little bit closer. Should I redo it? Let's see how well it's on there. Oh, it's on there oh, pretty wow. good. Real good. Well, that's Real good. good. All right. I'd leave that on there. You'd leave it on oh. there? Well, All right. it's not like silicone. It'll It'll stick to itself. Closer. There it is. I like it. Thank you. So now that our pickup is installed, I'm going to put the side cover on. And then we're going to be working on installing the coils, spark plugs, and doing whatever modifications we need to do to the exhaust to accept everything. I sure hope this cover goes on nice. Yeah. Because once we finish the ignition system, we're going to give it a test without any fuel. Yeah. And if it works, then we're going to move on to the fueling process. Right. So while Ike works on the wiring from the ignition system slash pickup to the coils, I need to work on the exhaust system for the spark plug. I need to make it accept our spark plug somewhere right around in here. And I also need to cut a slit on the bottom side of the exhaust and dent 
this side up so it's like a ramp so the exhaust goes over it and it'll actually create vacuum and pull fresh air in because we can't have fire without what is it fuel ignition and oxygen definitely got to have oxygen definitely got to have fuel so and something to ignite it yep which right. we're working on yeah we're working on it right now but i'm going to take i'm going to take these uh this side pipe off both sides and uh get to working on it you hear that is chuck back in town let's go check this out about that that was a wild ride but i got some announcements for 2023 my most important announcement is mini mayhem's coming up may 13th 2023 that's right may 13th 2023 we're gonna be at busco beach atv park uh in goldsboro north carolina for mini mayhem spring 2023 it's also charles's birthday so come celebrate with us there you can find more information on our facebook group mini mayhem now we have some mini mayhem products brand new on our website we have mini mayhem uh, iron on patches we're going to show you guys how to install these later we have a brand new mini mayhem embroidered hat it's a flex fit hat super comfortable very high quality embroidery and this was actually a popular demanded item from a lot of our awesome. viewers yeah nice. so that's a mini mayhem gator so uh, Chuck, you want to show them how it works? It's going to be difficult with the mullet, but I'm going to just be patient. So basically, if you're out riding at Busco, if you've ever been riding in a group at oh, all, boy. one of these are essential. We used bandanas last year. They didn't work so well. So the gator is going to be completely necessary, whether you're coming to Mini Mayhem or you like to ride with your friends at all. You can call me Mullet Bandito. <laughs> you look good. You look good. <laughs> and starting today until May 3rd, 2023, we are starting a brand new giveaway. So every item you purchase on our website, cars-cameras.com, will get you automatically entered to win a Tillotson 212 engine with the brand new Stage 1.5 performance kit from gopowersports.com. Basically, we're gonna do an installation overview of this kit next week, but it basically gets you billet on a budget. It's high performance on a budget with DIY easy installation for going into the engine. So if you wanna get entered to win, help support cars and cameras, get your hands on some high quality merchandise, head over to our website, cars-cameras.com, pick up some of our brand new Mini Mayhem themed uh, merchandise or pick up some of our classics again it's a great way to help support the channel and uh, pick up some quality merchandise as well as get entered to win we have the full rules and terms and conditions on how to enter on our website I've linked it in the description anyway uh, see you guys at mini mayhem May 13th 2023 good luck everyone uh, entering our giveaway and uh, thanks for your support that was good right Man, it's a little hazy in here, Charles. I can't breathe. Yeah, and if you got a fa <laughs> if you got a fast mini bike, I'll let you know it's not fast if you come out. Oh no! There we go, smack talk. Oh, That's no. Chuck. <laughs> That's Chuck for it. So I've got the hole drilled in the exhaust for this for the spark plug. We're gonna route the spark plug wire, and we also need to hide the coil. But first, I'm gonna show you. I just trimmed the boot a little bit. We're just gonna make sure that that metal end touches that one. Kind of like a just a regular connection and we're we're gonna mount these in the floorboard up under here on either side but before i do that we need to run the wiring from the pickup to here but that's pretty much it and then the fueling system but before we build the fueling system for this we're going to test the ignition system and make sure we have sparks on both sides here's what's going to happen i've got a resistor here i'm going to hit it to the uh, positive part of the battery and old Charles he's gonna go hit the key and we're hoping that we're gonna see a uh, spark coming from the uh, All right, keys on spark plug. go for it nothing nothing 
nothing what I do wrong. It, it could be a couple things. What I, I do mean, wrong, boys. We got a couple different combinations of uh, ways to hook it up. Well, because we couldn't find the wire. Just diagram. go straight to the battery. Yep. Try one more time. And you're looking hey, for is, spark is, too. Where does this need to be? I don't know anything about this. It feature. shouldn't matter. Okay. Try it again. Nothing, nothing on your end. Mm -mm. I'm gonna try hooking it straight up. Okay. All right, you ready? Yep. Go for it. Nothing. Could be that we don't have a good enough uh, signal from in here. What I've got is I've got a, a washer that I shaved down and it's just the the skinny side of the washer going past the the pickup. I might have to make it a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm, I'm, you see what I mean with the, the window right there? It's not, it's not very big. Might have to beef up that metal for it to see something. I know the problem. Ain't, Ain't got, got no, no gas, gas in it. it. That is so strange. It worked a second ago. Yeah, it did. Did we bloat it up or something? <laughs> So while Ike diagnoses our ignition problems, there might be a few gremlins in there, I'm gonna install some lighting. We wanted to illuminate the front eyeballs on the Cozy Coop along with the tail lights and maybe kind of illuminate this top. So we went and got some strips. Our favorite aisle at the parts store. Yeah, the, the LED aisle. So let's see. And we went with white. I know what you're thinking. Oh boy, the boys are putting underglow on the Cozy Coop. Well, that looks cool. So we figured, why not put a bunch of lights in the uh, eyeballs of the Cozy Coop and in the tail lights, just for that illumination effect at, at dusk when the flamethrowers are gonna be wide open. Well, what I'm doing is I'm gonna try and trace out the lights as best as I can. Oh boy. And then I'm just going to cut on the inside of the lines and see if it fits that way. We use the Dremel to make the, uh, make the hole bigger. I guess it's just fill in the blank. This is probably pretty much what we're going to be after. Let's see. Not too bad. All right. Because we don't want, we're trying to figure out the space from the light to like right here. Because if it's right up against this, all you see is a white square. So let's see. Hey, it's not bad. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty okay, good. so one light will do. Okay, so I've been having a lot of problems with the wiring on this thing. I've been wiring up the rectifier regulator on this thing. Uh, I've been wiring up the ignition for the spark plugs in the exhaust. For a dual ignition. For a dual ignition. And I think I got it figured out. Okay. I've got like a crazy wiring going on here. Yeah. Uh, let's just crank this thing up and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Great. Cranking up. Whoa! 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 Whoa!
the handle. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Who's the pry bar? Fine. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Look, it's I'm okay. already melting stuff. It's it, under warranty. It's, it's Matco. Yeah, it should be. We just got to get him here. It's all right. <laughs> Dude. Put her there. All right. That Put works. Her there. Now we just need to get it running out of both of them. Long. Oh, yeah. We should probably, like, ow. That's a little <laughs> toasty. <laughs> I saw a little smoke. <laughs> All right, that was fun. That was fun. Dude, that was nuts. So, Charles, you're also making some headway with I, the uh, lighting. Yep, uh, there's no switch or anything, but I've got the positive negative ran out the dash, and this is this is what we got. Ha! We got headlights and taillights. And Let me see the taillights. That is so cool. Whatever you want to call it. Eyeballs. Things. That's yeah. actually really cool. And we've mocked up something for the overhead because we had some leftover lights. Not really sure how I like it. Uh... I think we gotta cut the lights off in here in order to see. In order oh, yeah. to see it, yeah, I mean, it lights we, up a little bit. We flipped, uh, no, we flipped them over to illuminate. Yeah, on the we flipped the lights over to illuminate the yellow cap. All right, ready? Uh, they're not as bright, but they'll we. Brighter, I glued them on the outside. They're supposed to be on the inside. I just didn't want to put the the effort if it was gonna look bad. So now that we're, we may or may not be happy with this, I'm probably gonna start figuring out how to route these up in here and glue them down or something. So we have to do a lot of wire routing, but it's ready for a full test. Fireball! <laughs> Why'd it go into gear? Uh -oh. That's not good. Oops! Ugh. Why did that happen? I don't know. That wasn't supposed to happen. I am so glad I wasn't revving up on it when it happened. Woo! Yeah. It works! It works. I got it out of both pipes. You can get closer. It's not going to bite I, you. I, I, Why is he so skeptical? I don't know. I thought it was going to be something. Oh, my God. Dude, it's... Wait, hold on. It's cool. No, it is cool. But the lights, really. What? I'm just trying to say hey. Like your mark. 
marshmallows 10 to 1 or more like 12 to 1? from the standpoint of, you know, cancer. I like how there's a recipe on the back here for s'mores like you need to know. Well, I'd call that a successful test of our flamethrower. <laughs> Uh, this morning, we have a lot of wiring to tidy up. We need to drop the body back down, get it reinstalled, and we can take it for a test drive and really see what the flames will do. My tummy's upset. <laughs> You want me to warm up some milk for you? <laughs> so I've got a flamethrower kit on my hearse, and I already know that you've got to have this thing good and warm before it blows out good flames out of the tailpipe. So I'm gonna just do a, a little bit of driving back and forth, get this thing good and warm, and then we're gonna find out uh, if both pipes blow flames. I love this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm taking, a, taking a seat on the most comfortable mini bike there is on the market. Yeah. Right, MB200. That's not MB200. Oh! Megamoto! Oh my goodness. I, there's so many. <laughs> that clutch is sticky. Good. Well, we got to figure out that other side, but man, it looks cool. And it's it's so strange because we have the one side that's not working hooked up exactly the same as the side that is working. So I guess we just need to do some more troubleshooting, just crossing things off, I guess. But let's get another look at the, that flame job on there. Woo, that sound echoes over that pond. There's a big fireball. Oh. It sounds really cool. Definitely like the, af the afterburner effect. Yeah. It's been a little while since I've ridden the Cozy Coop and I want to test out the flamethrower. So, got my fire suit on. Let's hit it. Where are your gloves? Uh, upstairs. Where are your safety <laughs> shoes? Upstairs. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just playing with you.
You gotta be kidding me. What'd you do? Any guesses? Yeah. Wreck it? Almost. Oh, is the it steering it? steering wheel's in your hand. The bolt, the bolt, I swear is tight. I tightened that bolt. I tightened that bolt. I know I did. I was like, oh, we're going fast. What's going on? Which one is the brake? Where is the cozy coop? Oh, okay. Okay, all right, it's better than in the, in the canal. I put that bolt in with my magnet and tightened it up, but I guess it didn't work. That's a bad, that's a, uh, that's a big, that's a, that's fighting words leaving the steering wheel loose. So, I'm really sorry, when buddy. I'm so, off? I'm so glad you're okay. I was out ripping on it too. Yeah. Oh. You loosened it. Yeah. That's, that's it. He said it. He loosened it. Hey. Look. Is it still there? The bolt is still in there. I know it's really Whoa. hard to see. Oh, you didn't go in deep enough. Oh, so maybe you missed the you notch missed or the, something? Uh, notch. Or? gum. Okay. I mean, I can limp it back like this. Yeah, just limp it on back and just be careful. I'm so sorry, John. Oh, it's all right. I still feel bad. It's my... Yeah, it wasn't tight enough. Wait, is it, it all the way down? Yeah. How did... How is the bolt in? Because the bolt is supposed to prevent the shaft from coming out because of the little uh, um, yeah. thin spot. It's supposed to, but yeah, no, it's uh, it goes by it. I still touched it last. It's my fault. Oh, it's all right. I mean, it's it's not tight. All right, just limp her back. Be careful, bud. Thanks. Yeah, don't yank on the steering wheel. Uh, yeah, try not to. That was funny. Ah. Yeah, see, this is what I was worried that he fell into. Uh -huh. It's like 10 feet down, and that's like six feet deep. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but it, the bolt might have been bottomed out in the hole. So I'm adding a couple of washers. Yeah, the bolt was certainly tight. Yeah, it was tight. Well, that makes me feel better. But... And we think it ran out of threads. Yeah. But it's still, it. it's still really odd that the bolt being in... The I'm, shaft can still it shouldn't pull out. It, it shouldn't it pull out. It shouldn't, but it did. Hey, no one got hurt, and uh, we got a good laugh out of it. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> who got the laugh? Uh, okay, fair, fair. All right, well, we got the steering issue fixed. The sun's going down. It's time to test these flamethrowers. My goodness, man. <laughs> John, what are you doing, man? Uh, man, I, I think you got a I think you got a petroleum leak in your property. <laughs> you have me right. Look, does that look funny to you? Dude, the flamethrower has turned out awesome. Don't try this at home. Don't do anything you saw in this video at home ever. Never ever. Never ever. So now that we have this nice crackling fire, let me tell you about our brand new Mini Mayhem patches for 2023. I love the shape. They're real crisp. The colors are wonderful. Uh, I, I, I kind of think that these are, might be my favorite patches so far. Can I get a couple? Of course. Okay. So uh, we're gonna have this on our website, cars-cameras.com and uh, they're gonna come in two packs, okay? So uh, we're gonna install this on our nice backpack here, right underneath our Go Power Sports logo here. Uh, they're real easy to install. You just gotta have a nice iron and uh, put up there. You don't wanna hold it up there too long. I like to just kinda hold them up there and just pull back the iron and stuff. So, pretty easy. And you have some boards under there. I have some boards under there. I'm not fingers. just putting it 
on my fingers. So I think this is pretty, pretty good right there. Hear that crackle of the fire. The fire is wonderful. It feels great. It's actually my favorite spot to do some ironing. You do this often, huh? Yeah, all the time. Every time we get some new patches in, buddy. <laughs> How come I'm not ever around for this? And this should be about it right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It really doesn't take it's long there. at all. Nope. The colors are fantastic. It, they're super crisp and sharp. It's got the mini bike on it. 2023 Mini Mayhem cars and cameras with the trees. These patches will be a great addition to your riding jacket, your racing suit, your jeans if you have a hole in them, or your backpack. And there's also a great way to help support cars and cameras as well. So pick some up at our website, cars-cameras.com. Uh, if you're coming to Mini Mayhem, or not, they'll be great for, uh, for helping support the channel and they're just high quality, crisp, nice patches. This cars and cameras? Yes, I'd like two patches right away. To be honest with you, what I like about the patch is it's in, it's in the wording, mini mayhem. When you get a bunch of minis together, it's always mayhem. So you don't really have to come to our event to pick one up, because if you got a mini bike or you and your friends have mini bikes, those are the patches for you. No eyebrows were singed in the making of this video. Let us know what else we should do with the Cozy Coop down in the comments. Don't forget to enter our giveaway to win the Tillotson 212 plus a Tillotson Stage 1.5 performance kit. Uh, go to our website, cars-cameras.com. We have Pate Swap Meet coming up soon. So we're gonna be going down to hang out with our Go Power Sports family, as well as hanging out uh, at the Pate Swap Meet at the end of this month. Uh, at Texas Motor Speedway. So if you live in the Texas area, come on out, look up the Go Power Sports booth at the Paint Swap Meet. We're gonna be there uh, looking for the deals at the Paint Swap Meet, checking out some sweet mini bikes and doing some oh, yeah. riding as well, probably building something too. So you can find more information at a link in the video description. And then after that, the weekend after Mini Mayhem, we're gonna be back down at Go Power Sports for the first ever Pull Start Picnic. Oh. They sent us all t-shirts. Basically, it's their first ever designated mini bike show, and we're gonna be there. You guys know we're gonna be uh, guest judging? Yeah, we're gonna be oh. judging our own class of bikes. <laughs> oh boy. A little worried to see what categories, but oh it'll be all right. So we'll be down there again. I think it's May 20th with a build. You can find more information again in the video description, but mm -hmm. if you wanna enter a bike, just show up to hang out. It's surely gonna be a good time. Oh yeah. They're holding it the Rockwood uh, go-kart in, in uh, putt-putt course so we'll be there playing putt-putt riding go-karts checking out some awesome mini bikes come on down and hang out anyway thank you all for watching this episode leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it we'll see you soon and you'll see you next Wednesday later it's not it's not fit right it's okay maybe I can just turn it upside down Ugh. not bad